Despite being rebuilt with the RE engine, the Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster isn't a full remake and sits somewhere between its namesake and a full rebuild. The structure and bones of the original are still intact, but Capcom hasn't shied away from making a few quality of life visual improvements here and there. Let's see what's changed. Much like the transformation between 1998's Resident Evil 2 and its ground-up remake, the walking undead in this remaster have seen a significant glow-up. Compared to the original, these hordes of the undead are now every bit as detailed as Capcom's finest work with the Resi series, with a disgusting amount of fleshy detail on show. From chunks of flesh left over from a zombie's recent meal, to a juicy yet horrid looking bit of torn sinew, no disgusting detail is left untouched, and this level of quality holds up even when facing hundreds of them. But what about the Willamette Parkview Mall? the key location in which this entire Dawn of the Dead-esque nightmare is set in. Well, if it wasn't obvious from the footage so far, this too has seen a major graphical overhaul. Previously, while detailed for the time, Willamette didn't exactly feel lived in. Props to the former cleaning staff though, they really left the place with some shine and polish. However, with a population of just over 50,000, you would imagine some wear and tear in the town's only source of entertainment is only natural. Beyond the blood and guts, you'll now be able to spot details in the smaller things when venturing across the deluxe remaster, such as floors stained with dirt, scuff marks, litter strewn across the environment, whether that be crumpled up trash in Paradise Plaza, or menus left behind on the floor while in the food court, and more. All of these finer details lend the Parkview Mall a sense of believability as a place once used by thousands of shoppers a day. Unfortunately, Capcom seems to have taken a page out of HBO's playbook on lighting, as both Dusk and Night pose a serious vision challenge that Game of Thrones would be proud of. Overly intense darkness means visibility is at an all-time low in some locations, which, while more realistic, is hampered by there being no way to counter it. The flashlight as an item unfortunately doesn't exist in the original Dead Rising, nor this remaster. This means you might be left bumping into a few more nasties than usual while in the dark. Other times, however, like during this cutscene, even Sam Fisher would have a hard time adjusting his eyes to see what's going on. Stay back! I trust those damn zombies about as far as I can throw them, but I trust people even less. Don't shoot! Look, let, let's talk this you over. You can talk to my 12 gauge! Can someone just please turn on the lights? Aspiring photojournalists can breathe a sigh of relief, though. Frank West has bumped up his photography game. New to the deluxe remaster is the inclusion of camera parts, such as the Flash, which, as the name suggests, Perfect. Adds the ability to use a flash attachment on your camera while snapping some pics of the brand new remastered environments. Those are just a few of the changes that caught our attention so far, and we've not even mentioned yet that the Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster has completely changed its cast of voice actors. Terence J. Rotolo, the original voice of Frank West, has not returned for this remaster. So, here's a direct comparison between the old and new actors. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? Funnily enough, Otis Washington, the mall's most decorated janitor and persistent radio caller in the original game, has finally been given a voice after all this time. Hey, it's Otis back at the security room. Can you hear me, Frank? <laughs> And the same goes for many other NPCs, who'll often shout bits and pieces of panicked nonsense whilst you're trying to save them. If you've made it this far, feel free to sit back, grab a baseball bat, and enjoy some more direct comparisons between the original and remaster.
Hey, buddy. You mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. You got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that, they sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Jeez. sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? <laughs> Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! I've got you covered! Look for an opening! Good job, reporter, man! Ah! Keep it up! When the zombies came, everyone died! 
died. <laughs> That's why I decided to give all the happy people a lift on this fun ride. <laughs> I won't let you stop the ride, Gramps. If the ride stops, then the zombies come back. And that won't be any fun at all. <laughs> For more from the Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, make sure to check out the latest trailer. And for everything else Undead and more, you're already in the right place with IGN.